Hey folks, Pickleball Librarian here, and I want to talk about this new Legacy Pro Paddle. To me, it is the best kept secret in Pickleball. From what I can tell, it's two guys in the South, uh, you know, Chris Dickert and John Petty. They got together. I mean, these guys play Pickleball for a while. Their family plays. I know Chris's uh, daughter even helped design one of his paddles, but think about this. These guys played and they're like, geez, you know, what can we do to make a paddle better? What if we had this from this brand, this from that brand, and that from that brand? And I could see what they did. I mean, um, you know, they have a video on Instagram. And um, Instagram isn't the best place to put videos, in my opinion. So the problem with Instagram is it's not really made for videos. And this is on my 12.9-inch iPad Pro. And um, as you see me zoom out, you can see how I get. This isn't even, you know, <laughs> it's like one-fifth of the screen here. But let's go ahead and go back in. So here's Chris. He's just telling you about this paddle. I mean, this is a great advertisement, but it's not getting well distributed. And, um, about it. I've broken the uh, paddle down. As you can see, I cut it off just so you can see that it's, uh, carbon fiber all the way down to the bottom. This is what it looks like. If you can see this, it's all one piece construction. Uh, I've kind of torn this apart so that you can kind of see the, uh, the layerings right there. There's multiple layers right there and there's multiple layers underneath. Uh, so you can see that there's multiple layers. As you can see under the edge, the thermoforming seal, it goes all the way around the paddle uh, up to the bottom. Um, and it's got foam, as you can kind of see, there's foam uh, in that thermoforming seal all the way around it. Kind of makes it more consistent when you're hitting the ball and sure enough, those um, miss hits on the outside of a, of a normal paddle that's not sealed. Some, some paddles have foam in them, but they're exposed. We have foam in it and it's closed off with a thermal forming seal. And then we put the edge guard on it and lock it down with a lot of resin. So you, you can't, you can't pull it off easily like you can others. Uh, this is part of. So pretty impressive. I mean, what they're doing there. One of a kind paddle. This is a uni body construction. And then they have foam on all the sides. So let me explain this paddle a little better. Okay. I've mentioned how I love playing with the Engage Pursuit. So let me compare that. All right. So this paddle with a 19 millimeter has as much bang as the thinner Engage Pursuit MX. However, it also has the same amount of control as the MX 6.0. And, um, I think what it is, is basically they have the foam around the edges. And so it enhances the sweet spot, first of all, and it makes it just cleaner. And plus the way they did this, uh, they have grit. It doesn't feel as gritty as the Engage. However, it has such an increased dwell time where the ball really sticks in there. And yeah, there are pieces of the ball here that, that, you know, that are on the paddle. And I mean, you can really shape your shots with this paddle. It, it does spin like crazy. So. I showed you their marketing right now, that video. This is a $150 paddle. No offense to Chris Dickert, but you're not paying for marketing with this paddle. You're paying a darn good money for a darn good paddle. And I've got to tell you, at $150, wow, this is a This bargain. is definitely Pickleball Librarian approved. I just wish I had another one.